this is Dr. Torres back in the School of Airway. Uh, I want to talk about a topic I was discussing with uh, Jim Tucanto. That Though I have built an arrogance of being a very confident intubator, airway management uh, person in emergency medicine, um, I can't get too cocky and I have to show my leadership in that. I have failed in intubation. There are legends that say that I can cross, you know, intubate someone across the room with my eyes closed. Dr. Torres is the man to talk to when there's a bad airway. I just educate myself a lot. I'm well educated on the subject. I read up on it. I come up with them on my own ideas sometimes, such as they work, such as they don't. But even I have failed intubating. Intubating an elective patient who's going to the ICU for a head bleed, and I failed. I had a hit streak of almost 10 years and I failed and a junior attending intubated this patient who was anterior. All I came in with uh, was a King LT. I thought about just putting this in, but I wanted to be cocky. I forgot to, in the speed of the moment, it was just a patient dropped it in my lap and I was asked for help. And while they were doing CPR, I could have physicianed the patient, but how often do we intubate patients with ear to sternal lodge with getting CPR? In hindsight, I should have brought my air track or my King Vision with me, but I didn't. I've gone over reliant on those devices. I probably brought, I should have used a Miller blade, but I didn't get the tube, I goosed it. He was already dead and stayed dead, unfortunately. But uh, the junior got to intubate, attending, and my resident went as a failure. But I realized I failed. I stepped back and allowed someone else to intubate. Maybe I didn't kiss my wife right that day. Maybe I didn't hug my kids strong uh, enough. Maybe I got off on the wrong side of the bed. Maybe I didn't eat the right breakfast. Maybe I didn't drink my monster. My leadership was stepping back and allowing someone else to try. I didn't let my ego, my arrogance, allow anyone else to die. So leadership sometimes is knowing the backup plan. At that time, the backup plan was someone else. My backup plan would have been a new device in my hands. That day I didn't have the mojo or the skill on that direct line of gossip blade that I used. He was an, a an Asian patient who was very anterior, but regardless, it should have been ready. Okay? So leadership doesn't always mean being the baddest man on the planet or baddest woman in the planet in that room. It's knowing that when you fail, you have a backup plan. You know what to do afterwards. I did have my surgical cray kit in my left cargo pocket, ready in case I needed it. So I was ready. I was ready for failure. The ego got hurt, but I stepped back and allowed someone else to intubate. And that shows leadership. Thank you.